Gotta get her to focus. Alright. So here is the UEI uh, Hermetic Compressor Analyzer. Common. Our ground. Start. Run. This up here replaces your start capacitor. So right now it's all the way over. So it's at 100 microfarads. This does between 100 and 2 something. I can't remember then. Um, 100. No, this does 100 to 200. Over here does 200 to right under 300. And then this does 3 to 370 something. This uh, reverses whether the compressor is going backwards or forwards. Basically, I've got a compressor here that would not start. And yes, I did the discharge line is all crazy where we took it off. Um, suction line our extra port um but anyway so an r134 it was for a prep table and uh it just it would not start um in the actual prep table so we ended up changing it um thought that maybe there was uh maybe internally it was not working, but, um, you know, I ohmed it out, uh, everything seemed fine, all my readings, um, it wasn't shorted to ground, and I had continuity between, um, all three legs there, um, on the pecker head, so, anyway, I ended up buying this thing so that I don't have to put any more guesswork into, you know, uh, is a filter dryer clogged up? Um, is there a cap tube restriction or anything like that? I can put this thing on. Here's the ground and obviously common start run. So what you do is you put that, oh, you got to hold this over to start. See that? This is fault start, and after I when I hold this over, I'm gonna go into reverse, and then I'll go forward. See if I can't get this compressor to start right here. Another cool thing that it'll do is if you rock back and forth between the reverse and forward while you have this hooked up, obviously. Um, you can get some motors that are seized up or have locked rotor. You can uh, unlock them. But let's give this a shot. Reverse. Nothing. Forward. And it's on. It's on. Suction is sucking. Discharge is blowing. They're blowing on the, uh... Yep. Anyway. And turn it off when you want it off. Um, if you want to do it on a, uh, on a bigger system... Um, doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, residential. It can just be a 230 refrigeration system. But anyway, it comes with this jumper so that you can hook up to 208, 230. All right, that's it. I mean, obviously this thing will test for faults and et cetera, et cetera for us. But all I wanted to do was just see if it would start up. All right.